What's up guys, Alex here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today I wanted to talk about the iOS 12 uh, beta 11 NST surprise so many many users are actually experiencing the same thing right now, <laughs> this day just today so something went wrong on the Apple side on their servers uh, maybe that's not a mistake, maybe that has been made on purpose but I highly doubt that uh, but anyways, this is the pop-up that every single user now sees every single time they unlock their iPhone so just take a look at that so when I unlock my iPhone 10 uh, okay so now there should be yep there is the pop-up so it is so annoying and that all not only happens when you unlock the phone but when you enter certain apps for example messages or um, any other app it, it happens all, every single time so in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can fix that and that's not a proper fix but at least that's some kind of fix that will help you so let's go ahead and get started and okay guys so the fix is super simple just follow my instructions it's you don't have to just really download anything or install anything it's super simple go into your settings then navigate to the general and then date and time and now this is not a proper fix but at least that works for me and many users so now untoggle this one and now set the date to 26th 25th or even before uh, of some time in August some date in August I mean and now when you unlock your phone okay so there is a pop-up and let me just unlock the phone there shouldn't be any pop-up right here so again let me do this once once again and no pop-up again lock the device and as you can see that works so you can just set the date to let's say uh, 26 uh, maybe this one and there shouldn't be any pop-up after you do this so uh, this can actually you know stop from loading some Safari from loading some pages or it can imp impact the web performance something like this but if something goes wrong on the iPhone you know what to do just untoggle um, this thing or toggle this on and then load the Safari or you know some page that doesn't load and then you can of course toggle it back on and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today just wanted to show you this little fix and that works for me just for, for a few days Hopefully Apple will fix that. Of course, if you want to, uh, this fix to happen on the official Apple side, you can use the feedback application to actually submit your feedback about the iOS 12 uh, beta 11 to say that um, this iPhone actually produces this really annoying pop-up and stuff. So maybe Apple will fix that. Anyways, guys, I think that should be pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely be sure to hit the like button. That will be super much appreciated like always. And as always, guys, I really hope to see you around on my next one. And... Peace out.